Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And also if you want to reach out to me and you want help with your soccer coaching business, then there's a number of ways that you can either reach out to me or you can get my one-on-one -on -one help. Visit the description below this video. There's going to be a number of ways that you can reach out to me or you can book a call with me if you want to learn more about how I can help you to take your business to the next level. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to successfully run and manage a soccer coach in business. So for you guys that are watching, you will probably know if you've been watching my content for a while, that something that I do every single day and something that I've dedicated myself to doing is helping soccer coaches run successful training businesses. Now, what I want to share with you today are four very simple key areas that we work with when I work with coaches. Okay, so a couple of things that when coaches start working with me, a few areas of their business which they're struggling with is they don't know how to package their services. They don't know how to price their services properly. Uh, they don't know how to uh, create contracts so that their clients are signing contracts when they train with them. And the most important, important thing is that most coaches that I, when I start working with them, they don't know how to sell market to get more customers okay so when i work with coaches these are the four key areas that i uh, focus on to help their business so if you're in a similar position and you want help with growing and scaling your business to the next level then reach out to me description below that is the best way that you will be able to get my help uh, and that's the best way that we can connect. So if you have a look at the screen in front, uh, many soccer coaches I work with are currently managing full-time personal training businesses, each training fewer than 35 clients per month. So a bulk of uh, soccer coaches that I work with are running successful training businesses with 35 or fewer clients that they work with on a monthly basis. So something that I pride myself with is helping coaches work with anywhere between 30 to 35 customers every month, which they are charging a premium for their training. But at the same time, not only are they providing a high premium, high end type of service, but also they're charging the correct fees for their training, which allows them to do this full time. Okay, there's one thing training 35 clients per month, but charging too little for your service. And another thing is working with 35 clients per month, but you're charging what you're worth and you're trying, you're charging higher fees. Okay, so a lot of the coaches that I work with and most of the coaches have anywhere between 35 to 40 customers that they see per month, either in a one-on-one, -on -one, two-on-one, or a small group setting, okay? So when I work with coaches, I help one-on-one -on -one soccer trainers on four key areas of the business, okay? Now, the first one, the first key area that I, I help them with is the training program, okay? So when you wanna successfully run a coaching business, right? And when you successfully want to market and brand your business, right? You've got to create an offer that aligns with, both the customer and your schedule, okay? So what is something that your customers need that you can provide, okay? So I want you to really, really deep dive into your niche, right? So what type of players do you enjoy working with? Is it boys? Is it girls? What age group are those players that you enjoy working with? Are they aged between 12 to 14? Are they aged between five to 10, right? You work out what is that specific age group that you most enjoy working with so that now you can create your training program, okay? And also 
figure out with your niche what problem are those parents and players having that you can solve for them so a very simple example is the problem that they might be having with their club team is that they don't get much personal attention and the quality of training is not great so you can create a one-to-one coaching program which creates personal attention it creates technical training and it's repetitive so that those players are constantly repeating uh, their technical training and getting better individually something that in their club environment because there's so many players on the team the coach isn't able to provide that personal attention the coach doesn't focus on individual training they focus more on a team tactical aspect okay so what is your training program who is your training program for and what problem are you looking to solve okay with your customers okay so is it an introductory package that you want to sell is it a three month commitment right what are the needs of your customers and how does the training program align with your own schedule okay so what are you able to offer your customers that's going to align with your schedule but at the same time meet the needs of your customers Okay, now the next one, correct pricing for your training package, right? So setting the right prices for your training package will result in more leads, plus it will result in more sales over a long period of time, okay? When you become too expensive for very little value, that will ultimately put your customers off from working with you. What you want to do is you want to have high amounts of value, you want to have something that other coaches other trainers in your local area do not offer they don't do and how can you price that properly so that customers see the value they want to do it and they 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 can relate the value to the commitment and results that your service provides okay now the third one is agreements and contracts with customers and parents So having contracts in place with customers demonstrates greater professionalism on your part as a trainer and clearly outlines the terms, conditions and the expectations of your of your company. Most trainers that I work with at the beginning do not have agreements or contracts in place with the clients that they work with. The way the way most coaches work is simply they show up to a taste session. It's a great taste decision and that coach will sell that parent on a pack of four, five or six sessions. They complete the sessions and that's it. Now, the problem with that is not only is there no contract agreements in place, but there's no expectations from the parents. So parents don't know what the expectations of the coach is. Okay, so when when I work with trainers and coaches with their business, right, part of the agreement is that the players and parents agree to certain rules during the program. So they must show up on time, they must work hard, they must be coachable, they must do all their homework that is set by the coach. Parents must show up on time, they must pick up their child on time, they're not allowed to coach during the training sessions. So there has to be some sort of level of expectations, right, from not just the coach, but from the parent as well, so that parents and players are aware of what the terms and conditions are. On that contract, also, it will stay when uh, payments are due. So if you're charging upfront payment, then on that contract, you will stay. All payments are made upfront by the due date. If you're working on a month to month basis, then on that contract that parents sign, that will be that will state that all parent all payments are on a monthly basis and all debits will be taken out on a certain date. Okay, so having terms and contracts with parents is really important Okay, because not only does that demonstrate professionalism from your end, but also if parents or players break your terms and conditions that protects you and your business from 
any customer doing anything that doesn't align with your company's uh, values and expectations. Okay. Now the fourth one is getting customers or getting clients, right? So implementing effective marketing and sales systems that will ensure your business consistently attracts new leads and customers. Okay. So a key area that I work with coaches on is the implementation of effective marketing and sales systems that will allow the coaches to market and brand their business in a way that they're constantly getting new leads on a week to week basis. Okay. On average, the coaches that I work with are generating anywhere between three to five leads per week. Okay. And if you want examples and if you want proof, then go back on previous videos. You will check, you will see various coaches that we have worked with who are going through the process that we have in place. They are generating, they're creating leads and they're marketing their business in a professional and effective manner, okay? So if you need help with any of these key areas, maybe you're a trainer or you're a coach watching and you've got a coaching business, but you're struggling to price your training properly or, you're, or you wanna create a contracts, terms and agreements, or you're struggling to get clients, you want to get more clients, right? Reach out to me either via email at makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com or you can book a free call with me. Visit description below. You will be able to find that there uh, and book a convenient time that works with you. Okay, thank you for watching. And again, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. I'll see you in the next one.